100% random is inspired by Gerhard Richter's color charts and by Damien Hurd's spot paintings. In both of these works, you are faced with a multiplicity of discrete colors. Generally, when you look at an artwork, you try to find patterns that correlate the different elements. Even in an abstract work, you look for something physical, an idea that takes form or a gesture of the artist uh, that conveys a sense. Instead, in these works, you are lost. You can only understand or the single color or the multiplicity. Anyway, underlying this color chaos, there is a strong regularity in the color positions that define a geometric cosmos. This contrast makes the work interesting. In my work, I wanted to go further on the chaos aspect in two ways. First of all, I wanted the work to be dynamic. I'm sure that after some time, you get familiar with your painting or print and you start to know that, for example, in the upper left corner there's a blue spot. Instead, I wanted the work to be always different. That's why I've used RGB LEDs to create the colors. Each spot can be one of the 32,000 perceptually different colors. The other difference is that I wanted a true source of random information to define the colors themselves. I've used a Geiger counter that can detect the decay of radioactive particles. Background radiation is always present in the world, but we cannot determine the exact moment when a decay will occur. So we say it's gonna happen in a random time. Using an Arduino microcontroller, the system can determine a random bit, 0 or 1, that is depending on the time of the decay of a particle. The main loop of the Arduino software is continuously inverting a Boolean variable millions of times per second, changing its value from 0 to 1, from 1 to 0, and so on. When a decay occurs, the software reads and records this random bit. When I've gathered 22 bits, I use this information to determine which spot will change and of which color it would be. Normally, this is a slow process, and you don't see it happen. When you look at the work in different times, it will generally be different. What makes this work change is the interaction with the world. And the decay of a particle is a very small, unnoticeable modification of the world. And my work brings this to the visual level. 